Are you tired of your cat? Send them to us. We'll start them. Every three minutes, someone dies. Potatoes. Eat them, or I'll find you. So I'm finally doing it. Your mom today, Actimel suckers, we're going to be taking a look at Bethesda Creation Club content. In particular, we're going to be looking at a piece of Creation Club content that brings us all the way back to the Capital Wasteland. How does this fit into the lore of Fallout 4, which primarily takes place in Boston? What's the reason for going back to the Capital Wasteland? I don't know, but they're gonna sell it to me for money. So unlike the Skyrim Anniversary Edition, which bundles all the Creation Club content into one tidy little discounted package, when it comes to Fallout 4, it still has all its Creation Club content with no real discounted price and it doesn't have its own anniversary edition as of yet. So for the moment I'm going to have to buy this for the price it's listed as and at a little bit of a premium isn't that fun. Now I'm not going to go completely mad and buy a bunch of Fallout 4 Creation Club content. Number one I don't want to. Number two I don't want to really support this. I know it's easy for me to say the fellow who bought all the Sims DLC and shit and all the ESO stuff but in this case uh, I'm not delving into it. It's not something I'm doing. What I am going to do is look at the one piece of Creation Club content that actually appeals to me and see if it's worth it in any way, shape, or form. So the topic of this video is going to be the Capital Wasteland's Mercenaries quest, which brings us all the way back to the Galaxy News radio station in Fallout 3. We're going to see why this quest exists in Fallout 4 and what's it like going back to the good old Capital Wasteland. I wonder if Tree Dog is there. I really hope so, because if not, I'll be really disappointed. So we're going to keep that in mind going into this. So it cost 750 Bethesda box tokens, I don't know, whatever they're called. It's about 7 euro, which rounds it up. I don't know how much that is in freedom dollars, but you'll just have to figure it out. I'm not putting a fancy graphic, you're looking that up. Basically, look, I'm expecting good things for the 7 euro I paid. But let's stop wasting time and just get the fuck into it. How would you like it if I started calling you legends instead of actimel drinkers? Well, you're not legends, you're pricks. I am <laughs> Like the video. <laughs> so here we are into the Fallout 4 main menu. Fallout 4 updates. We're not fooling around. Spend your money. I'm only messing. There's a variety of unconventional weapons and more surprises in this month's featured community mods. I never actually mentioned this in the beginning, but for St. Patrick's Day, Bethesda had a St. Patrick's Day pack for Fallout 4. And to celebrate our iconic Irish holiday, they painted the guns green. <laughs> Good job, Bethesda. The Irish very much loved that. They loved you absolutely doing that. So what we're going to do, folks, is we're going to load into a character I've been playing Fallout 4 casually and we're gonna get stuck in let's go to Cambridge it's all dark and spooky and scary so I have a level 16 character basic enough basic enough weapons basic upgrades I have healing items and all that so we should be well prepared going into this pack should be well leveled all that good stuff it shouldn't be too difficult at least I'm hoping I will say 7 euro for a bit of creation club content a little bit pricey especially since you can get Fallout 4 game of the year edition at a pretty decent price discounted like 15 20 euros at times pretty reasonable you're getting a good bit of content like all the deals DLC packs and everything. All the vault stuff, the game's taking a while to load. Why is that? It's on an SSD. Alright, so here we are into the world, and if I check my good old pip pip pippy boy, the goose fight. Remember Tree Dog saying the good fights in Calamari RC be like the good fight or something, a bunch of crap. Investigate the line, pure parking structure we just get this randomly in our pit boy all this creation club content is a little bit invasive bethesda doesn't really do a good job of incorporating these mods and content and quests into the game world naturally even when it comes to skyrim they're not very good at it this is a little bit fair i've nowhere on the map really close we're gonna go to the nursery and travel there so yeah when it comes to skyrim you just have the courier constantly giving you notes being like i have a package for you in the anniversary edition they do space it out so as you level up more the courier gradually starts to visit you they don't just put it down on you all at once which is a better way of handling giving you a whole host of creation club content but hey so in terms of fallout 4 they seem to be going down the same path it looks like which is putting it on your pit boy peace out peace out peace out all right all right folks you're gonna see my awful shooting throughout this whole video but if i'm being honest i'm happy with being crap at games i hope that's all right i hope you'll accept me i'm happy in my ways I don't care about being good at Fallout 4. I'm pretty cool as you can imagine. I'm pretty fucking epic. Fucking like and subscribe. But while we're wandering, I do like the Fallout 4 art style. I know some people picking it a bit for being a little too cartoony and saturated, but I like to look. If you're gonna make another game that's in a fucking wasteland, you might as well put some bit of color into it, you know what I mean? I don't think it's too bad. 
I think it's Al Race. I've been starting a bit on the old Fallout 4 content page. I do enjoy this game. I think it's a fun time. Is it a perfect RPG? No, and I won't be going over that in the whole video because I enjoy Fallout 4. I play through it a couple of times a year. I like Bethesda games. I think they're pretty good. I also think it's important to discuss like uh, games faults and everything. Even like Fallout New Vegas, not fucking perfect. Great game. But every single great game or a game that's heralded by the community has their issues, has their faults. Am I going to go into it today? No. But it's important to have dialogue about these things, right? What I like is not the same thing you like. But so overall, if I'm critiquing Fallout 4, understand at the end of the day, I like these games. I like Bethesda. I only want them to do well. What the feck is this? Okay, there's a big Versibers here. We're getting stuck in. Are you an enemy? I press Q, Gunner. Mac, well, Mac's fucking dead. You have a buzzy called Cheese. I'm very funny today. I'm on the biting commentary. Mac's dead. I hope you don't get too invested into his character. Bye, Mac. Return of the Mac. He already died. Hello. You power armor. I'm gonna accept and kill you. You're right in front of him. Please hit him. I know my agility or perception is very low or whatever, but please hit him. There you go. I'm very good at games, aren't I? I'm very good at games. Where the fuck are you? Okay, he's up on the Versabird ledge. Yeah, well, I want a steady influx of views on YouTube, but it's not gonna fucking happen if you don't put in the effort, love. It's not gonna fucking happen. I showed her. She shut up fairly quick after that, sir. Tactical 10mm pistol. Okay, sunglasses. I'll take those cheap sunglasses. I'll have ZZ Top blaring at me in the background. Because why not? Hello. Are you dead? Of course you're dead. Why would you be here to give me more dialogue and to invest me into the story that I paid 7 euros for? Oh, Aquapura! That's from Broken Steel! I'm gonna assume the Aquapura isn't actually infected with the FEV virus, which you can do. Yeah, so I assume the canon quote-unquote ending was actually the good ending and completely purifying the water in Fallout 3. I forget the name of the river. River Leaf. If it's anything like an Irish river, it's fucking green and full of shite. That's like Aquapura, I'll take that. So we have the mercenary charmer stuff. We have the mercenary helmet, that's like the one in Fallout 3. And the mercenary veteran outfit. Oh, nice one, nice one. I might as well make use of all this DLC and equip this stuff. Increases action point refresh rate, okay. Sparrows? No, can I inspect the no? Okay, inspect doesn't actually mean reads. I have to do that in my inventory. Let's see, Sparrow's note. Is it like Sparrow from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1? That prick. I don't want to read any of his notes. He's an arsehole, ain't he? View. Well, this sucks. You're in the wasteland. Everton sucks, but a uh, reality check coming at you. We came here from Donkey Kong to get help. Talent Company Mercs attacked GNR Station. And with the Brotherhood forces scattered, our asses were exposed. Our only hope was the radio. We sent out an SOS, like the police, to everyone and anyone asking them to help us fight the good fight. They're still droning on about the good fight, shite. The Commonwealth responded, but it turns out these gunners aren't down for the cause. I would have been a dead woman if I didn't come in for a slow landing. Might still be a dead woman, given that they're still on my six. Well, she's dead anyway. No dialogue for you, love. In fact, if you're reading this, that means my corpse is too cold for Stimpax, so this letter will have to do. If the good fight means something to you, then take this bird and fly off to the capital wasteland. She just give me her airship. That's this. Just get in and fly off. Good luck. Save GNR from the Talon Mercs and shut down the radio before they get on air. So they're trying to take over the radio station. And if you see the good man, tell him I'm sorry. Is Tree Dog still alive? How many years has Fallout 4 after Tree? I forget. I should probably look that up for context because I want Tree Dog to still be alive. I'm gonna imagine he's not because bringing back Tree Dog would actually be a bit of effort on their pairs, but hey. 10 years, that's not too long. Okay, Fallout 3 was 2077 and Fallout 4, if I look on the map, I just want to cross reference. Yeah, 2287. I probably could have deduced that myself. 2277, they say it in the Fallout 3 intro. It's almost as if I play these games all the time. I should know this. Oh, I'm sorry for making you naked, girl. Uh, so I could just take her vertebrae? Cool. What I'm going to do first, I'm going to equip Z mercenary armor. I got the dress helmet. I'll take this. The veteran armor, of course, I can't wear it over my leather stuff because that actually would have been handy. That looks all right. I never really liked the mercenary veteran armor look in the original Fallout 3 anyway, and it looks kind of off. That was worth it. Wasn't it just? Of course, that's just me being picky. This is all up to personal preference, but for me, it's not my favorite armor set. But hey, other people might like it a lot. So we're just going to take this lone vertebrate to the Galaxy News radio building. Epic. I have no idea how long this pack is going to be. I hope it's a little bit of time. So here we are. We're in DC. 
that's it. Just get on the vertebrate. Oh, here's the entrance. This is where you meet the Brotherhood of Steel and Saber Lions. And she's like, you're a common wastelander. Why don't you go out and help us? Why not? So there's a stairway here leading down, but the, the game is telling me to go through this doorway. So this is just an exact recreation of the quest in Fallout 3. So they're really treading new grounds here. They could have done something unique, but it's just radios being attacked again. Go infiltrate. I'm hearing the Fallout 3 ambient music, and I feel embarrassed saying this, but I don't think I know Fallout 4 enough to know if it also replays Fallout 3 ambient tracks. I'm gonna say no when they added this track just for this pack, because it would make sense. But I really like Fallout 4's own ambient music. I think it's pretty epic. GNR, Tree Dog, all you need to know. I really like the fact that you can kill Tree Dog and Fallout 3, and there'll just be some old woman being like, he's dead. Oh, uh, here's the same two songs over and over again. Good luck. But I like Tree Dog. I like keeping him alive, usually. Even on evil playthroughs, like a reason I don't kill him. I like keeping him around. I think he's his own lows. Plus, he gives you updates and stuff about the game as it goes on. So killing him, while it's a nice choice in an RPG aspect, a mixed radio boring. But it's a whole lot better than Travis's in this game because, my God, he's boring either way. Even if you do his quest. Okay, we're being completely ambushed and they are completely destroying me. Cram, I'll use a deck claw stick and some crispy squirrel, I will. I have my sniper called Little Snipey. See if I can pick you off. See if I'm good at shooting. I'm very good at games, I swear. It's not my job. Bang! That should have killed you. one. <laughs> Bang! Fucking get wrecked. Get fucking wrecked. Are the Brotherhood gonna help me? Is there anyone here who's gonna help me? There you are. You're doing your biz. Are you shooting at me? Oh, you are. I thought you were with me. Oops. Bang! Bang! Oh, they're proper Talon Mercs. I want the Talon Mercenary Armor. They did say it was gonna be Talon Mercs, but uh, I'm just happy to see them. There you go! That was a good shot. Did you see that, gamers? Did I redeem myself in your eyes? You can say no. Weapons, where's my chassis too? Hossie, there we go. I like this gun. Get fucked. Get fucked. Okay, I'm gonna reload. Uh, Do I get a fat man here? Please tell me I get a fat man. Okay, I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Level up. Listen, if this DLC is gonna copy the exact quest line from Fallout 3, at least have the super mutant Goliath. At least have that. I'd be happy if you can bring that back. Oh, the Fallout 4 perk system. How I really don't like you. <laughs> Damage resistance. Fucking, yeah, epic. <laughs> you just smack him to death. I like you, boss. I like your mom's dead already. Does leveling up only give you a health boost when you hit the level and not when you actually take the perk? I think that's the case. It's not like Skyrim. This isn't Skyrim. Ew. Ew, I'm an Elder Scrolls YouTuber. Uh, are you all right, boys? Good. <laughs> good fighter mercenary. He's good because the game has to tell me he's good. Uh, Fusion Cell, Hard and Sniper, I have a Talon Company armor. I'll take that. Can I equip it now? I really like how they got rid of the Fallout New Vegas system, which would have been cool to bring back in Fallout 4, of actually being disguised with particular groups if you wear their armor. Oh, there's so many enemies here now. There better be a fat man here. There better be a big mutant. Uh-oh. So it's a big shoot house. It's a big shootout with loads of armor and weapons and stuff, and I'm doing so great at the fighting. He's a toy truck on him. That's brilliant. Good for him. Go down, go down, go down. Oh, you're fucking legendary or something, Joe. Yeah, anything good on you. Unyielding metal right arm. Three plus to all stats when you're 25% or less health. That's actually pretty good. I'll actually take that. That's not bad. Laser rifle. I'll take all the stuff. There's so many enemies. We're really not given much when it comes to the setup of this quest. It's just go here, shoot down these fellas. No voice dialogue, nothing like that. Why would you get that for your seven euros? Yeah, it's literally just read a page. And now your teleport is here and shoot and kill everyone. That's it. It's not like this is an RPG where things like story is integral. This is what I don't like about the Creation Club content, honestly. Look, I paid the money for it. I'm allowed to complain. It just feels kind of soulless. It kind of feels like nothing. This feels like nostalgia bait for Fallout 3, which they could have done a much better job of doing. And when it comes to Fallout 4, it, this doesn't feel like it fits with the world. It feels like a mod. It feels like a hastily put together mod. I mean, it's cool if like a small mod creator makes this in their spare time, but this is something Bethesda is charging money for. Do you say anything? We'll dig in and hold this position. We'll hold this position. Think we're clear. Well, they're repeating dialogue. Brilliant. What if I go back here? I have a feeling if I advance too much forwards, I'll be locked out. Okay, music. I know. I know. So here's the talent company merc suit. It looks. It looks like the talent merc outfit. So that uh, I, I don't know what I was expecting, but it looks okay. It looks all right. I'm gonna go to bed here. I'm gonna explore here as much as I can and get the use out of the money I paid. Yeah. So here we are. Weapons workbench. 
I wonder if we can even return to this area like as much as we can. I'm gonna assume since we have diverse birder, we can just go back and forward as much as we want. So it has kind of the same general layout as the Fallout Tree one, and we can't obviously go back any further. So hey. Oh, there is a missile launcher here. All right. I'll take that Aquapura. Uh, carrying too much. I need to drop something of size. I can't believe I have to do this, but I'm going to drop the veteran outfits because I'm, I'm, I'm like not going to use... Well, I paid money for it. Don't drop that. I think what I'll do is I'll just drop all my junk so I can take all the DLC stuff. I might as well. And uh, <laughs> I'm over encumbered on shit. I should have thought about this before leaving. But I want to use the missile launcher. I want to get use out of it, even though it would have been really handy earlier. Bye. There are projects to recreate Fallout New Vegas and Fallout 3 in Fallout 4. In fact, I think the New Vegas one has a little bit of a demo. Maybe we can look at that someday and see if that's any goes. It's just a small little slice of life thing, but hey, it could be something. Could be something. Could be something. But yeah, Iguana Bits, Aqua Pura. That's brilliant. So the wasteland here does have water, but they're still fighting. It's almost as if the water doesn't fix an ultimately bad society. But look, good old Liam Neeson, he did his bits. And would you believe it? He survived throughout the entire main quest. I'm not joking. Galaxy News, can I talk into the radio like in the Fallout tree now? Who would have guessed? I'm going to use this missile launcher indoors because second one else. Where are you? <laughs> Get fault. Bang! Uh-oh. Might want to reload. Yeah. Second bang! Okay. Okay, okay, healing. Healing, I just killed the good Pfizer. Oh no. Oh no, anyway. Real oh, you're still alive. How are you still alive? Yeah, bye, boss. Bye now. I like missile launcher. Very good weapon. Okay, someone said. Oh, it's an IE boss. Well, that's dead. Bang! I'm probably throwing all these items around the place, but I don't care. Bang! I don't use big guns in Fallout 4 enough. So I like the other shooty bang bang guns. Okay, use it. Hold on. Hold on. There you go. Oh, I missed. Oh. <laughs> Take your time. I'm a bad shot, even with a missile. That's not a good sign, Michael. That's not a good sign. I mean, my name's Mickey Z. I docked myself. Okay, fusion rifle, gold watch. Just basic I'll loose. Nothing too much out of the way. Like, take the minigun. I'll drop the missile launcher for now. We'll, we'll use the minigun now. We'll use something new and it's way too heavy. Great. Well, hey, I have 1500 ammo for us. That's something. The minigun just reminds me of the beginning of Fallout 4 when you get the minigun and you fight a deck clown like the first five minutes of the game. So you're extremely overpowered. <laughs> well, not five minutes. That's a bit of hyperbole. But the game gives you like a power fantasy very early on. And it's a strange way to open up your game that's about a wasteland and trying to survive by making you immediately overpowered, but it's something they did. Veteran goggles. I want those. I want goggles. Perception. Wait, I could wear goggles and glasses at the same time. We have to look at this. Oh, they're just like goggles over your head. You don't actually wear them. I look like I should be in the Phantom Menace, like in the front of the Pepsi machines for the advertisements. So I can also wear glasses at the same time. Okay. Well, all right. It looks weird. My character just looks like more of a hipster prat now. And would you look at this? The texture has just kind of broken a little bit in the lighting. That's brilliant. Anyway. So here's the eye boss. Military grade steel. And that's again. Cool. I completely destroyed the eye boss with the missile. It probably said some dialogue that I probably missed. Oh, hey. Here's the adventurer outfit. And the adventurer goggles. Huh, I actually think it looks a little bit better here. I like the style of it. I like the look. I like it better than the other one, which I'm actually going to get rid of. You get a nice little workstation here. I guess you can make GNR your base if you want to. Pretty cool necessities. It has a chemistry station. It has a power armor station. Undamaged cigarettes. Okay, there's a nice little room here. Purified water, loads of aqua pura. I do like that they're trying to tell you that, hey, the purifier worked and the wasteland is a little bit better off for it. So there's the one bit of story that they're presenting to you. Oh, that's nice. I've paid money for a fancy little fedora, didn't I? That's brilliant. A what? Ammo laden mercenary troublemaker outfit. Oh, I know this one. I like this one too. Wait, wait. How does this look? Does it being ammo laden have any sort of benefits? Or is it just a descriptor? I think it's just a descriptor. I, I, I kind of look cool now. I have a bit of a style to me. I can't put any of like the leather armor pieces over it or anything. So it won't be of much use to me back in the actual Boston wasteland. But you know, you know, sparrows logs. Oh, voice acting. Ah, for fuck's sake, it's text. <laughs> I had a tiny little bit of hope. I had a tiny bit of hope, but I mean, at least in text, we're getting something. Ran my afternoon check on the birds. It was supposed to be a morning check, but hey, noon is morning to some people. Noon is very, very early for me, but hey. Anyways, I put the engine through a test run and found no leaks. Replaced a broken filter and safety wire. Also checked our fuel stocks were running low. Could go on another run next week, but knowing me, I'll end up putting it off. So I wonder what was the actual reason. So I guess we'll get more context into why Sparrow went to 
Bastion. I'm a big believer in the good fight, but I do get tired of the radio playing the same songs. Okay. All right, that's clever, Bethesda. I get what you're asking. I never told Phil that, though. I love how it's kind of part of the lore they play the same music. He thinks the two go together like feathers on a bird, which reminds me, I need to replace the left propeller on the V-Bird 2. Also need to make repairs on the fuselage after that crash landing where I may or may not have been drunk. Brilliant. I like that word fuselage. It's very fun to say. A lot like Minge. Let the record state that I blame not the vodka, but the mutant for being a heavy son of a bitch. That's a rude word, isn't it? Oh, shit. Mercy asked me to do a patrol this morning. I told her my mornings don't start until after the second battle, but she insisted. Oh, she's a drunk. Guess what? Good thing, too, and she's the pilot. Did she crash land on Boston? No, but the vertebrae was in good shape. About 10 minutes into my sweep, I spotted a brigade of Talon Company Mercs. They were camped out about 30 miles outside the plaza, heading in this direction. Phil asked if I was sure. Like, yeah, I had a shot of vodka, but I know a horde of angry looking dudes in black armor when I see them. Do you guess what she drinks? That's the big story. She drinks, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Flew up sober just in case I was seeing double. Four crusties, I wasn't. We're gonna need reinforcements. Phil says he got in contact with some boys in Boston. Oh, so there's the link. They call themselves the Gunners. Hopefully that means they got the firepower to match the name because otherwise we're in trouble. So that's the reason why there is the one little name drop of Boston. Hunter's Cropped Mercenary Adventures Outfit. Reduces damage from animals by 15%. That's something, wait. That is boobs on it. I better actually get the tits from that. Oh, I fucking do. This is brilliant. I like that they actually kept this. Well, that's mine. That's mine forever. There's a lot of stuff here I want to take. So I'm actually going to drop the minigun. There's a lot of armor I want to bring back. I'm going to drop the fun weapon so I can bring back most of this stuff. But hey, I'm glad I got tits armor. I'm genuinely happy with this. I'm not complaining. Oh, there's a dead super mutant. Scratches logs. I'll take this. Is it just more text? Once again, text. Um, <laughs> okay, that's funny. Uh, uh Yeah. Ah, that's brilliant. Yeah, I know, pal. I know the feeling. He has such a way with words. It was the best at times, it was the blurst at times. Super mutant type words now. Oh, he's learning. Super mutant hands too big for weak puny keys, but man named Joe help. He say the type words super mutant say exactly as he say them, so super mutant will kill him last. This is what my YouTube scripts look like. Apple and orange. Oh, he has good taste. Super mutant come from Apple Asia. Oh, Apple Asia. Oh, uh, Apple Asia. That way he green, but mutant here. They orange. Feel good man here this and say comparing super mutants like apple and orange just make head scratch more than record. Super mutants not fruits. When talk to feel good man super mutant head feel sick with words. Good man or bad? Feel good man tell raider not all fights good this news. Super mutant never mess fight he no like never make human he no crush so feel good man give very bad advice. Then why he good man does make super mutant scratch head till skin come off but good man fight good. So maybe he not so bad. I love how the super mutant went to the effort of actually cataloging their thoughts. You know, he's a brute, but at the end of the day, he just wants to do a bit of racing and fair play to him. It gave us a bit of context, I guess, to the quest, but you know, it's something. It's something. Kill the talent company boss. Okay, so at least the uh, Galaxy News Radio Interior has a bit of rooms to it, has, has a bit of backstory. There's a little bit of work gone into this. You know, you can't complain for a whole team. Oh, this looks cool. Oh, I do legitimately like this. Can I take these? I can take the models. I like those. I've never seen those before, but hey, I'm guessing this is concept art from actual Fallout 3. Oh, I like this. Yeah, it has to be Fallout 3 art. That's the Raider outfits. Okay, this is cool. I'll give you this. This looks sweet. That looks like the spot where the E3 demo is. There's a shot of the nuclear explosion with the world still intact. Maybe they had the plan to start off with an intact world with Fallout 3. I'm probably looking too far into it, but maybe they saved the idea for Fallout 4. Who knows? Who knows? I like the mole rat. I like the metal rat. I like the metro. Yeah, they're the same metro trains. I like that. That's dope. That's pretty cool. Oh, there's the pods like in fucking Operation Anchorage. Hot opinion. I kind of like that DLC. I like it a bit. It's not the best thing ever, but I enjoy it for what it is. Mothership's say I can fuck off though. That's terrible. <laughs> the only go parts of that pack. Oh no, they're shooting at me. Is when you run off the spaceship and you just float off into space endlessly. Okay, just shoot him. Just shoot him. My hands are crippled. I'm not going to hit him. Well, I'm still going to try though. Yeah. Execute critical. Go down, you clown. I am the tiss wearing bandus. Watch it. I need some rad scorpion steak. That's something. Okay, where's my chassis too hussy? My pinnacle weapon. I never go anywhere without my chassis too hussy. There we go. That should be good damage. Okay. You miss point. How can you miss point blank with a shotgun? The point is that there's sprays. That's a high capacity combat rifle. That's not bad. Shut off the transmission beacon. Okay. I hate my limbs being constantly crippled. I've said this before, but I hate that mechanic in Fallout 4. In any Fallout game, why? It doesn't really add much. It just makes it annoying. 
for survival I can maybe understand, but otherwise, eh. Lots of water though, lots of aqua pure. Oh, there's bottle caps on the chessboard. I love when it does this. I'm taking all of that. All of that's mine, it kind of clipped through the notes, but hey. Under sunglasses, maybe that belonged to Tree Dog. I am enamored by these stacked bowls. Did they actually stack them themselves, or is it one object? It's a static object that doesn't move. Great. I thought they actually piled them up, but that's kind of hard to do in this game's engine. Mercenary Charmer, oh, a dress. I'm taking a dress. Hey, that's something I'll take it. I'll take it. You can wear standard dresses in normal Fallout 4, which I've honestly just remembered, but it's cool that you get to wear everything here. It's pretty nice. Anything here? Hello? Phil, Go who the fuck is Phil Goodman? Oh, here's an upgraded shotgun. I'll take that. I haven't encountered that yet in the actual wasteland. That's enhanced mercenary charmer suits. 10% reduction in action points cost him that. It would've been cool if they actually brought Tree Dog back for this. It almost would've given me my money's worth, but no. But no. Let's see how this looks. Yeah, I want my Tiss armor back. Where's my charmer armor? There we go. That's my style. That's what I want. Oh, DJ of- Oh, here we go. DJ's outfits. Oh, well, there's a bit of a callback, I guess, because the fans were going to be asking. All right, one second, one second. Let's get to look. Black rim glasses, intelligence, perception, and charisma. No physical resistance bonuses or anything like that, which kind of stinks. And gray neck cap. Let's see how this looks. Hey, it still has the cigarettes in the in the air. There it is. We're tree dog. We couldn't bring tree dog back, so we're just going to make you tree dog. I mean, hey, here is a terminal. His name really was Phil Goodman. Okay. All right. Please just go go into the terminal. Go into the terminal. Fallout 4. Has the game soft locked? I haven't saved in a bit. Fallout 4. Fallout 4. Please don't soft lock. Come on. Exit out. I'm pressing backspace. I'm pressing all the keys. What about TCL? Fallout 4. No, we're stuck. I have to reload. Great. Fantastic. <laughs> Well, I quick saved in this room anyway, but yeah. I made the magazine green. Did you enjoy that? Okay. Don't crash again, game. For the love of Christ. There you go, Mike. It just works. The good fight. Okay, so there is a lot of backstory here. We're gonna read this all, folks. We're here for the lore, aren't we? The good fight. They call me the ghoul of cool. I don't want to read this anymore. Stinks. <laughs> the leader of the good fight, but I'm just taking up the mantle. I didn't start this old jukebox. I'm just playing her song. I like that saying. I didn't start the jukebox. I'm playing her song. Truth is, none of us mercs were around when the fight started, but maybe that's why it struck a chord now. And with the DJ missing and the Brotherhood gone, okay, so Tree Dog is just missing. Not that we couldn't be bothered bringing him back. It's just, you know, in the lore, he, he went away. For a short while, the airwaves went dead, but we felt we needed to keep the fight going. Going, not just for the wasteland, but for ourselves. We're not selling our souls for caps anymore, but doing real good, like the Lone Wanderer is. Aye, the Lone Wanderer. So they're known as like uh, a revered person in the capital wasteland, and that's nice. You've been inspired to take up the cause, make up for lost time, you dig? Did you know the term, you dig, comes from the Irish, on digging too, which means, do you understand? That's a real fact. Because the Irish immigrants would say to people, on digging too, do you understand? You dig? Do you understand? That's a true fact. Take that home with you. I was on a dark path before all of this. You could say the good fight saved me. Now I want to save others to pay it forward. That's good. Versa birds. Razor girl. Sparrow's been a godsend fixing up these old birds and getting them to fly. Like Lenny Kravitz, they just want to fly away. She brought in 20 crates of aqua pura the other day. A gift from some of the wastelanders out there who appreciate what we do and who we do it for. Razor girl. The other day, the fighters found a raider outside the plaza. The easy thing to do would be to kill her. I mean, this poor girl was freaking out, speaking gibberish and in no shape to meet the big DJ in the sky. All right. But if we want to fight the good fight, that means getting our playlist right. Not every track is about hacking and whacking, chopping at me. We got to spin the right record, even when it's tough, especially when it's tough. Besides, we made scratch parts of the team and compared to a mutant, a raider's basically a kitten. So I brought her to the station and gave her some R and R. She took a liking to the Console, wanted to press every button on the damn thing. After watching me do a sound check, she even took a turn on the mic. We'll make a proper DJ out of her, yes. I'm liking Goodman's log so far. This Raider girl has a name, she just doesn't remember it, that's a little bit sad. We can't keep calling her Razor girl because that won't help her move on. Not to mention, if we keep calling her a Raider, Scratch might get the wrong idea. The other day, Joe was trying to get him to say mercenary, 
but he kept saying Mercy instead. That's when the light bulb went off in both of our heads. I think the name kind of fits for the Mercy we showed when we found her, and the Mercy she's shown us by not grabbing a knife every time Fisheye tries to cheat her as cards. I tried to tell Mercy the good fight is what we do, but it's not all there is. There has to be something we're fighting for, but the way she thinks, it's like a guitar that only plays one note. So I told the girl it's like this. Every day you think of five things that you love more than the fight. Like the view from a VersaBird, finding a family photo in an old suitcase, opening up a fresh can of beans on a Sunday morning. I love that. I love a good beans for a fry. A pair of warm socks. A faint smile. But keep your shit turned right and you'll be like Billy Holiday. All your living will be easy. Someone's hired the talent company to take the station. Part of me wonders if this isn't about the music at all, but old chickens coming home to roost. I guess it doesn't matter now, they're here. And with the Broadhood spread thin, there ain't nobody but us to stop them. Last night we held a jam session to talk about what's next. Joe thinks we ought to beast feast before the Mercs crash to Percy, but it ain't why we signed up for this. A jam session is where you're like, you're playing music to a specific key or something. That's a jamming session, like blues or whatever. I I hate to sound like a broken record, but we fight the good fight no matter how bad the blood. I'm sick of hearing the term fight the good fight. Okay, we guess us. We owe it to the man to be dogs in the fight, and we ain't much of a canine if we turn tail and run. But we also ain't gonna sit here and get our meat chopped. I put the word out on the airwaves, and sure enough, I got a hit back from a good fighting crew in Boston. I told them I'd send Sparrow to pick them up and give a craze of Aqua Pura as tanks. They said there's no need. They're gonna help us because it's the right thing to do. The final fight. The talent company mercs have blown up the tunnel and trapped us inside. If we're gonna get supplies, we'll need it to come by air. Speaking of which, I should have heard from Sparrow by now. I'm beginning to think these gunner cats may not be on the level. They keep telling me to send more birds, but when I ask to speak to my good fighters, they tell me it's a bad time. Bad sign? They don't know the meaning. We've got the mercs on our doorstep, but the reinforcements we were counting on are a no-show. Can't worry about that now, we gotta make a stand with the cats we got here. And besides, even if we die, I have to believe the fight will go on. Ten years ago, a bottle of water and a catchy slogan saved my life. Given what I've done, I'll never be a good man. I just tried to be a best one. Listen pal, it's like Pearl Jam says, can't be no better man and you're also dead. So I'm sorry to hear about that pal. But that was a nice little bit of backstory into good old Phil good man he was a good man or at least he tried to be so he took up the moniker and he tried his best there's grognek nice lad that was a good bit for reading that was a little more reading than i was expecting in this mod so hey that's something that's something and the uh, terminal didn't crash so hey let's turn on the beacon and see what we get as our reward for clearing out the gnr station game don't <laughs> i was worried it crashed again journal entries more reading call for reinforcements We've taken the station and chased the fighters into nearby buildings, but taking GNR isn't the same as holding it, even with the tunnel blow to shitterines. Shitterines. Another Irish language fact. Smitterines is derived from an Irish word. Smitterini. Isn't that a fun fact? Another fun Irish little fact. I've established contact with HQ and requisitioned more men, but due to resource crunch, they'll need to be picked up from outside DC. Using the old Brotherhood vertebrates, the fighters repaired. I would have pressed HQ for more immediate help, but didn't want to make it seem like I didn't have a handle on the situation. One problem is the autopilot system on the bird we hijacked is malfunctioning so it'll need to hone in on a signal as such we've swapped the radio with our own transmission beacon which we should allow the system to triangulate our location hatton i like the name hatton the inside agent who was supposed to help us with the assault either was a no-show or made no attempt to identify herself not a surprise since her reports for the last month have been on the spectrum of misleading to worthless i've notified our employer to terminate her contract it's likely she fled before the attack for now we've got bigger problems just trying to hold our position so that is all. So we're going to turn off the transmission. Ending transmission. Completed the good fight. Is that it? A bit of an XP boost? Actually, I never checked. Radio. Diamond Sissy. I can still... Wait. Hey, how... Uh... I was just going to say, I shouldn't really be able to tune into the Diamond City radio and still get a signal, but apparently I am. That must be a pretty long signal. I guess that's it. I guess that's the good fight, folks. I guess we did it. I want to wear my proper charmer outfit. Fuck me, that scared me. Hello. You just showed up in the nick of time. I showed up in the nick of time. Glad to help. Glad to help. You're one of the good guys. You wouldn't happen to know of any good places to settle around here, would you? I'm tired of always being on the run. Join me. I sure do. Can I bring him back to Sanctuary? Okay, we can bring him back to Sanctuary Hills. That's something. Thanks. See you there in a day or two. 
Now I'm assuming that dialogue is just dialogue that was already baked into the game because the Skyrim anniversary content does do that a lot. I know some people might say it's like a limitation of the Creation Club content that they can't actually like incorporate dialogue lines or something like that. Look, Bethesda are worth a lot of fucking money. How many times did they re-release Skyrim? Fallout 4 is like one of their best selling games. It sold a shit ton of units, folks. Look us up. Hello. Didn't expect help from a stranger. Thanks. Hey, they're saying thanks. Just passing through. I was just passing through. It was my lucky day then. You wouldn't happen to know of any good places to settle around here. Uh, do I have to talk to all of them individually? Always being on the run. Yeah, it's the same dialogue the other fella gave me. Again, this just feels... When it comes to the NPCs, the location, and the reason we even came here in the first place, it seems very soulless. It just feels like nothing. It legitimately feels like nothing. I guess now we're going to talk about if it was worth the money I paid. Not particularly. I'm not averse to the idea of adding more content to these games through something like a creation club if it was reasonable. Like, adding more content to the game as you go that you can pay money for. If it's decent content, I don't mind that too much. And also if it's reasonably priced. Is this quality content? It's kind of followed tree jacking off nostalgia and it's not implemented in the best way i will say again solace is the kind of thing i'm feeling there's no there's no depth you know what i mean that's ultimately it it's kind of cool coming back to these locations in fallout 4 but it just feels like a bit of a fan project which isn't bad in terms of a fan project but for a company like bethesda who've been doing this for so long it leaves so much to be desired. It really does. And I don't mean to be down too much on these bits of content, but it's just how I feel. I'm someone who adores Bethesda. I want to see him do well, but I also want to be able to critique him when I feel like they need us. And look at those buildings in the distance. They just look kind of low quality. You can see the outside of the world. Maybe another building to take up the skyline because I can see across. What we're going to do now is we're going to take the Versa Bird back to the Commonwealth. It'd be pretty cool if we could come back here and, you know, go back and forth. If you want to bring back the outfits and all that stuff, I'm going to make you green. Or oh, you lose your wings. I pretty much said my piece. It's lacking. It's not really worth the 7 euros I paid, which is pretty pricey for a pack like this. These packs do go on sale. Considering Skyrim has a whole anniversary edition, Fallout 4 shouldn't be waiting for its 10 year anniversary to make all this stuff. Available at a discounted price for one tidy little package, they should probably do that right about now because the Creation Club is dating a little bit. This game is coming on in a few years. Just make like a tidy package like you did with Skyrim and bundle all the content together. That would be a better deal. And there's enough stuff there that you can get something out of it. Now in terms of Fallout 4 Creation Club content, unless Unless there's any other packs like this that add to the game in a sort of reasonable way, I won't really be covering any more of this or really wanting to support most of this. The Fallout 3 one appealed to me because I wanted to see what's it like going back to Fallout 3 in Fallout 4, seeing what the lore was like. It was interesting. I liked some of the journals. I liked Goodman. Goodman was cool. The Sparrow was a little eh, but you know, that's just us. Folks, I think that's it. I brought some of the settlers back here. Oh god, it's green. Oh, that's nice. We'll end off with a nice little bit of acid rain. Sure, why not? What a great way to end. I actually like the look of the radiation. But there's the mercenary. He's right here. Aren't you glad you're here? Thanks. I just want to trade a few things. And the only discussion we can have with them is trading a few things. They have the Aqua Pura on them. Does the Aqua Pura actually have any beneficial effects over purified water? So purified water is HP of Farsi. What is Aqua Pura? 40. Okay, it's the exact same. I should have assumed, but hey. That's the piece of Creation Club content. I hope you enjoyed our little showcase of us. Seeing if it was worth our time. Ultimately, it could have been better. It could have been better, which is kind of the allegory for Fallout 4 in itself. But hey, there is the other woman. Nice Jack and Daxter goggles. Naughty dog wants her game back. Jack 4 looks shite.